Welcome to the Spot in Beige and it's your girl DJ Israel and right now we are live at Lakeward Reggae Festival and to my left I'm joined with the show stealer. This man just delivered a stellar performance here at Lakeward Festival and we're talking about Cali Buds. Welcome to the Spot in Beige. Yes, How are you doing? Yes, yes, yes. Good to be here. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is the second time I think we did this. But this time was a little better. Like the rain came but and mash up people uh, night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because a lot of people were supposed to be supposed to be more people in here but yo nice vibes same way you know what I mean yeah. and how did you think that the crowd received you here tonight yo it was crazy because I before we went on stage I was looking out and I said oh, okay there's you know decent amount of people but then when I got on stage I was like whoa like like doubled in size yeah so it was good though yeah, it's everybody nice everybody came to the forefront once once you yeah, went down yeah, the stage yeah I saw that <laughs> and then you went into some of your hits finally the herbs come around mm -hmm. what how do you feel now to know that you did that song in 2000 Seven, right? <laughs> yeah. Is it 2000? I know. 2006. Yeah, yeah. So. I know that. 11 years. Know that herb is being up. You know. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about that right now? Yeah, we need the, the, the second um second part to that yeah. song. Like herbs is there now. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. I mean, uh, you know, especially back in those days, like a lot of. I, I feel like right now, if the song came out, it would be bigger because it's more accepted now like a lot of radio stations wouldn't play it they try to get me switch up the lyrics to get it played and you know what i mean but yeah so the thing said and a lot of people that don't know your face because them think that it's a it's a black person or <laughs> i don't know how do you feel that when people come up to you and be like oh it's you well nowadays i think that rarely happens i think everybody kind of knows like just through the internet and, and yeah. you know from we did the video yeah. I remember the first couple, like, when we shot it and we released it, and I was reading the comments, it's like, oh, it's, <laughs> it's a white man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's still the feedback, like, they love the song, but at the end of the day, you know, it don't, don't really affect me, like, you know? And who are some of your influences that influence you to do reggae music and dance? Yeah, I grew up with, like, Sound Clash. Yeah. So, I mean, Kilimanjaro, like, I always used to do, um, go to like the, the, the record shop and just for the latest session tape and I mean it was just anywhere I was like so that kept me up to date like on the reggae music because anytime you listen to Sound Clash like yo this is a new one and you know what I mean so that's that's really how from from 90 I want to say 91 to like 2000 like I mean it was just you know Sound Clash that was it and then you know it kind of drop off after that like yeah um but yeah that's really what really influenced me you know what i mean but especially kilimanjaro ricky trooper like i mean i was no damn time of vibe, trooper, yeah, yeah, vibe yeah. up on youtube <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then you have one of the bang of them for the ladies yeah that's yeah, the mama, yeah. Sita. mama sita yeah that's yeah. one of the thing when that's up in the clubs and yeah. the carnival, that's another thing yeah so i produced that track like um originally yeah and then tony kelly just took it and just and just made it what it was yeah. you know what i mean and i remember being in the studio with him and he's like he added like extra kick to it yeah so i was like i was like yo you're messing up the kind of vibe because i wanted like like almost like um what was it chewing a button like 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 kevin little like you know what oh, i mean where it kind of like had a little kind of thing yeah yeah so i was like and he said, yo, you want it to knock? You want people to dance to it? Yeah. Or you just want people to like vibe to it? I said, yo, you're right, you're right. Boom. So yeah, uh, but but Tony Kelly took it and just... Make it right. Yeah, 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 exactly. Big tune yeah. and when that drop in the yeah. club, you see the girls them going crazy. Yeah. And then you have the next big banger, I'm Blind to You, Aethers. Yeah. How did you come up with that song? That was, um, well, <laughs> it was kind of after a lot of dumb things happened with the label and like it was just like there was there was a lot of things going on at the time and especially from even my hometown yeah you know Bermuda like yeah. it was it was uh there was a lot of just a lot of things so it just all kind of filtered into this one dopes played me the beat and I said yo this is the one for this one yeah this is the one and uh yo I mean we wrote that tune in about 30 minutes wow. it was done like yeah it's done so I mean, there's a lot of motion into it. Yeah. Yeah. It so. Yeah, you know. I, it's a song that I, I see a lot of people feel it. Yeah. I feel like right now, like 
when I do shows, it's bigger than come around. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. you know what I mean? Cause everybody can relate to that. Yeah. Like, you know, this, we have some fans that are not, not don't even smoke weed. They just like the song. <laughs> but like, I think everybody can relate to that tune. To that you know? Tune. Yeah, yeah. So. I know you are from Bermuda, but I was reading your bio and it said you was born in the United States. I was. I was born in New Orleans. Yeah. But you were New from Orleans. Bermuda. Yeah, cause I moved back. I moved back there when I was about five years old mm -hmm. my mom's Bermudian yeah oh, so okay. yeah my my father was from Chicago and so I don't know how I popped out down in New Orleans <laughs> he was an entrepreneur so he was doing a lot of like I could go into stories but yeah yeah, but yeah so um yeah born in New Orleans and then uh, yeah moved back to Bermuda at the age of five and it's uh yeah been a rapper ever since I've been living there ever since Okay, yeah, and I, I know still you live are, there, yeah. I know you are a producer also. I try, I try. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, that's something I'm working on. Yeah. But I was, you know, that's what, that's really what I wanted to be a back producer. in the day. Yeah, and producer. And then you just yeah. led into music. Yeah, because I went to um, Full Sail here so in Florida. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I graduated in 2001 and basically taught me the foundation of like recording and Pro Tools and and the whole boards and everything like you know SSLs and and how to you know the whole routing matrix and you know just everything everything to do with recording and that's when I fell in love with the music and that's when I started producing just beats and trying to mix them and make them sound right but I didn't have any artists oh, okay. to record so I just started like doing things that I thought would sound good on on the record, and that's basically how Mama Sita started. Oh, okay. And yeah, you yeah. yeah. I was trying. I was. I was gonna give it to somebody, like write the whole tune, and then and then give it to somebody to sing. And then my brother said, "Yo, you crazy? Do it. Put it out. You know what I mean? So that's yeah." And where are you going to next? Where are you performing to next? Uh, we got a little break right now. Uh, next place is Cali, Cali Roots. Okay. Yeah, Cali Roots May 27th or 29th, one of them days. Yeah. And what's the name on that Facebook and Instagram, the whole social network? Um, Instagram is real Kali Buds. Okay. Twitter is Kali Buds. Yeah, we, we, we teeth it early. <laughs> teeth it early. Yeah, yeah. Facebook. And the website? Facebook. Yeah, the website, um, KaliBuds.com. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for all uh, tour dates, all that, merchandise, everything like that. So, yeah. Make sure you go to KaliBuds.com and check out. So, with the merchandise that you have, what kind of merchandise are you I have? mean, we have t-shirts, we have ashtrays, we have, we have um, ashtrays. Did I say ashtrays? <laughs> Okay, the Calibot app. Oh, nice. Oh, that is nice. We have scales. Oh, okay. We have skateboards. Nice. We have everything. Everything. I mean, from t-shirts, yeah. All that stuff. There you have it from the big man himself. And you know it was a pleasure for me to talk to you. And Calibot, this is Spot Invasion TV. You can't leave until you give me that big song. Spot Invasion TV. Um, sir, said I'm blind to you. You gotta, you gotta. Can't touch me when I rinse the gators. Miss Severi still love. I ask them only well I run so. <laughs> Said I'm blind to you. Hey, Taz. Can't touch me when I rinse the gators. Miss Severi still love. Hey, Taz. Ask you only well I run so. When things to pop off. You know, boom. Spot Invasion TV. Big up every time, straight. You know.